Boys, I want to show you the best abilities you can put with Derrick Henry. I'll show you what I have and maybe some suggestions for you guys, you know what I'm saying, if you do something different than me. All right, boys, all they've been talking about, and you guys have been seeing me play with Derrick Henry, everybody, and I think best quarterback in the game, I think so. Whether you're just running gunslinger on him, whether you're running escape artist, no matter kind of how your play style, I think you should go try to get him. Uh, gunslinger is 6 AP on him. That's the highest it is for any quarterback. 6 AP is 6 out of 14. I went to math school, so 3 out of 7, so 3 sevenths of your AP. That's a lot for one ability, but Gunslinger is the best ability uh, for a quarterback by far. The other abilities are weak compared to it. It, it is the must-have passing ability, Gunslinger. Um, if you're if you're trying to like pass lead a lead or set feet a lead, those things, I mean, they're good, but they're lesser. They're worse. You know, they're not as good as Gunslinger. You need to understand that. So if you want to use one of those to save, a, but you know, that's on you. Gunslinger is the best. Derrick Henry has the fastest release, the best Gunslinger. So that alone makes him the best to forget the fact he's 98 speed or whatever he's super fast and escape artist all that but the slinger alone if he was if he was 75 speed he'd be a pretty darn good quarterback so let's take a look at what i have with abilities you guys can watch me use these abilities every single night twitch.tv slash dub dot you guys can check it out but this is what i'm currently rocking now i was rocking randall cunningham this is what's tough for me is because you get so comfortable with your abilities. Like, you don't even look at them. Once you set them, once you got a nice, you know, a nice setup, you don't really stress about it too much. I think that's the biggest part of the game. Once you lock in your, your team and lock in what you want to do and you don't think about it because as man players, we're always there, damn, could I be better? Could I do something different? Let's try to switch it around, stuff like that. And it never stops. Once you get in a, in a nice groove for a month or so with abilities, it's nice. But then they put out a card like Derrick Henry. They just switch it all up. So let me show you guys what I'm doing. This is my team right now, currently. There it is. You see Derrick Henry. He is the actual uh, bell of the ball, as they say. He is uh, He is it. So, like I said, Gunslinger is 6 AP on this card. So, that's a lot. It is a lot, for, but it's it, you, you need it, really. 6 AP on him. You get 2 AP on Escape Artist. That's 8 AP. I went to math school, so that's 4 sevenths of our AP. That's more than half of our AP is on the quarterback. Now, quarterback, you guys watch football, it's the most important position. He controls everything. So, if you're putting that much AP on him, yeah, it's, you know, it's worth it because he is the uh, the head of the snake. So, you want to make sure he's top-notch. Always want to have the best quarterback. So, that's why we put 8 AP. X-Factor, honestly, the downside of Derrick Henry is he can't get Omaha. And I don't know which really... Maybe freight train would be good, but trust so you don't fumble. That's pretty cool if you get that. But you got to scramble so much to actually get that, so I don't know. Gambler was pretty good all year. That's pretty solid. The rest of these, maybe Bazooka he does so far. Who knows? This is high-low one. They're the perfect. Hey, who knows? But for me, that's that doesn't matter. But that's our 8 AP. Okay, so if you go ahead and think 8, eight 14 minus 8, we have 6. We have 6 AP left for a whole team. Now, me... These four, what is this? These five AP are locked. Halfback master, Walter Payton, receiving back. This is why I use a receiving back. Kamara, Craig, Christian McCaffrey, Walter Payton, who I, I, I wouldn't have put as a receiving back. I feel like when he played, they didn't even go to the running back as much as they do today. So him being a receiving back is pretty crazy. So save me a lot for sure. One AP, he gets all the routes, and he catches the ball damn near every time. So I use that ability. Um a lot so that's a lot for me i need that receiving back i've had that all year back for half back master so that's one so now we're down to what are we at we're at nine so we have five more we're gonna rock Keyshawn johnson and we're gonna what we have on Keyshawn johnson is route tech and deep out elite route tech he's gonna beat man coverage like they stole something you cannot play man coverage on Keyshawn johnson so between the running back with our halfback master can't guard him you can't guard Keyshawn Johnson because of route tech. And now you're going to have, uh, what else? Your tight end is pretty much always unguardable in Madden. You guys know that. So now you have three options when you're passing the ball. If someone's playing tight man coverage. I think route tech is probably must have somewhere on your field just to have that weapon. And then we got a deep out elite. They catch every deep pass that's so over like 15 yards, so like automatic. So I think that's a no-brainer. It's what I use. 
Then we have Robbie Anderson, 99 speed, and we have deep out of lead on him. So these two guys are going to catch every deep pass, uh, and and we have route tech on Keyshawn Johnson. That is 13 out of 14. My one AP I have left, I put deep out also on Kyle Pitts because he is a vertical threat. Deep out is one AP on him. So I put that same thing. He's going to catch every deep pass. Red zone, you know, he's going to catch back in the end zone. He's going to catch the ball, really. Uh, so for me, those are my abilities. Now, I used to have post up. I can't lie to you, boys. <sighs> I miss it. I do miss it. But, I mean, I would need two AP to get post up. Now, for me, uh, I think the only offensive line abilities that are worth it, boys, are post up and secure protector. I think the other ones are kind of, eh. They're not worth your AP. Secure protector is really good. It's two AP each. And post up, I believe in it so much. But for me, as I look at my team, where do I take away to get two AP? You know, Kyle Pitts is one. You know, could I put all day on my center instead of post up? Maybe. You know, so for me, it's it's definitely a tough loss because the one thing about having Derrick Henry is your opponents are going to put so much in the contain, contain, contain. That if you can get this pocket held up with post ups or secure protectors, you'll have all day in the pocket because contains don't rush the passer. So they're already taking away the pass rush by containing. If you can put some post ups or some all days in there, that can really make your passing game really uh, effective. But that's what I use on offense with Derrick Henry. Uh, like I said, if you if you use this eight, that's our eight. Now you have six to play with, man. Let me know what you guys are using your eight for. Your your six to play with so to speak, or if you're not using Derrick Henry, you know, because it was it was a little easier when I had seven with Randall Cunningham. I would just go put one post up on, or if I had five with Randall Cunningham, I'd have two post ups only. But right now, um, I, I like this. Uh, for me, uh, order of importance, I think the quarterback's one. Then I think route tech probably, you guys. I would recommend having one route tech and then, Maybe you could go two post ups. You could go two post ups, two and a route tech. That would be it. Two post ups, route tech, and Derrick Henry might actually be kind of cracked. Really, it might might be really good. You'll have all day. You'll have the man beating coverage. You just won't have those automatic catches. You know, from the running back, uh, from the deep out elites. You know, that's something I really like. The automatic. You know, you're going to catch it type of plays. Defense. It hasn't changed since the last video. What do I got? Seven, no, six acrobats, two inside, or two uh, unpredictables. That's what I have. Defense hasn't changed, but offense, when they put out a new quarterback, definitely changes. So that's what I'm rocking with Derrick Henry right now. Let me know what you guys are rocking. Eight AP is a lot for a quarterback, but he's he's super. So we put him in there, set it and forget it with Derrick Henry. Is this, I don't know. I'm not 100% confident in this, but this is what I'm rocking right now. I might change if I do. I'll let you guys know, but... I did like having one post up. I do miss that post up, especially when people rush three and you got that double team right in the middle. You want to just anchor that down, and that's what, and that's what they used to do, and that's what the post up did. But now that I don't have it, that one guy in the middle will be giving me kind of trouble. But that's what I'm rocking. Like I said, let me know what you guys are rocking. Derrick Henry for the win right now, boys.